Hello, welcome to Kent Beer Reviews. Right, beer from one of my local breweries. It's from the Bonson Brewery and it's a bottle of their Black Pig Imperial, or yeah, Imperial Russian Porter. It's coming in at 4.8%. So, um, personally, I, I I would have assumed a Russian Imperial Porter to be a bit higher in the ABV than 4.8%, but that's just that's just me. I'd probably expect it to be between I don't know six, seven, maybe eight percent. I know in America they they go eight nine percent for a porter, um, but they do call that a Russian Imperial Porter. So um, maybe a little bit low for for the name, but anyway. Um, it's a good brewery, so so that's good. They're out of Wonsum, um, which is just east of Canterbury, so it's mm, 12, 13 miles from me. So um, and of course I've put other beers from them on on the channel. So um, so yeah, um, yeah, dark, smooth Russian Imperial Porter, Black Pig. Um, it's bottle conditioned. There's not much else on the write-up really, and I haven't, I haven't checked online or anything, so I'm just going to go in and drink it and see what happens. Um, best before date of January 2016, so I, you know, for a 4.8, it would probably keep for a bit longer, to be honest with you. But I wouldn't want to have this probably say no more than a year. But I don't know when it was put in the bottle, so. I do like to know when things are put in the bottle if I if I can get hold of that information. But um, anyway, black bottle cap. Let's see what this beer brings, and hopefully it's not going to go everywhere. No, they don't normally, but I don't want it to go anywhere where I am at the moment. Why isn't that everywhere? Well, not quite, but just over there. Going for the Duval glass. Let's see what it brings. So yeah, it's quite a light porter, as you'd expect. Let's do a bit more mental. See the carbonation there. Should just about get my fat nose in that. Yeah, a bit of sediment in the bottom. So, yeah, there's loads of, there's a few floaties in that. Uh, a finger and a half just off white head. Yeah, it's, it's brown, browny coloured at the bottom now where I put the sediment in. So, well, uh, maybe a slight ruby tinge. Right, it's getting aroma. Yeah, it, it got the aroma of. It smells like kind of black currant. Dark fruits, plums, raisins, maybe some figs or something like that. You're not picking up on the malt, especially. It seems to be predominantly black currant. Very nice aroma. Let's give it a try. Cheers. Yeah. Picking up a little bit of, he's certainly picking up more on the taste than the aroma of the malts. It's a bit of chocolate there as well. That's really quite nice actually. Smooth like they're saying. The mouth feels. Yeah, it's, it's, it's I've had smoother, but yeah, it's, it's quite smooth. Um, it's a little bit um, 
I'd say it's thin, but it's it's getting towards the, you know the lower end for me. I do like the porters with a little bit more depth in them. Around about 5.56%. But this is, is very nice. It's very nice from a, a very good brewery. I don't think I've not liked any of their stuff that they've done. Um, I know I've, I do drink a lot of non-Kent beers, but hey-ho. I will try and pick them off slowly, the Kent ones, but there's just so much good stuff out there. Um, and it's sometimes quite hard to get sort of local stuff, um, apart from my, my main brewery just up the road. Um, it's it, the distribution sort of locally for me for uh, Kent beers is it's it's, it's all right, but I, I don't really want to travel too far to get get these things. But um, fortunately, the two breweries that are closest to me are they're pretty much everywhere which is obviously good um, but yeah there's a lot of East Kent breweries and West West Kent breweries are even harder to get hold of certainly for me um, I think there's one brewery Westerham Brewery where um, you can get them on um, Owls by Mail um, anyway enough about another brewery I'm talking about this brewery and it's the Wonsoms Black Pig as you can see I've got their t-shirt on um, they were very kindly enough to send me this last year um, so thank you cheers really appreciate that that's really nice of you um, as for this beer and the taste again yeah, you're picking up dark fruits a little bit of roasted malt chocolate Only a little bit of chocolate, nothing too too bad. The, the carbonation is quite nice, nice level. Um, it's not it's not going everywhere, you know. So, some some of these beers, for some reason, they can be over carbonated, but this is quite subtle and mellow, really nice. It lets you um, appreciate the flavours more when you've got this raging carbonation that I've had before as I say and it kind of it ruins it a little bit for me uh, it's a little bit alright I think uh, the Watson Brewery makes sells and sells great beers near the cathedral city of Canterbury produced we produce quality, handcrafted beers with a passion and care, using only the finest natural ingredients for our customers to enjoy time and again. So that's on pretty much every bottle that they do. And there's, there's a light there, but you get the picture of the, uh, the address. Um, they have got a website, but I don't know if it's on there or not. I'll put it down in the description bar below. <coughs> Pardon me. So there's a little bit of carbonation there. Not too much. <coughs> oh, I need to get rid of that. So yeah, 4.8%. Um, you know. As for a rating as I've been going on for nearly 10 minutes. Um, it's leaving a nice aftertaste now on the palate. Um... I keep doing this, I say I'm going to give a rating and write it about something else, so apologies. Um, something else comes into my mind, I've got to get it out of there. Um, I think that's a 7 out of 10 for me. It's a nice brew, it's quite tasty actually. Um, so yeah, 7 out of 10 for me. If you've had this beer before, put it down in the comments box for us. Um, be interesting to know if you've had it, or how far this beer's gone out, or these beers from this brewery are getting out. Um, be interesting to know. Um, thanks for watching, please subscribe and cheers.